We're headed into Yellowstone for our longest boondocking adventure yet. But when we pull up, well, this campsite, yeah, not what we expected. Stick around for wild bison, adorable baby weasels, and watch us back up the rig like pros, even after a serious cleanup mission. Good morning, Lesby fans. Thank you so much for joining us today. We truly, truly appreciate every single one of you who takes time to watch our content. It means the world to us. And we just left Bozeman Hot Springs RV Resort, and man, that might have been the nicest RV resort we've ever stayed at, don't you think? Yeah, that was awesome. So now we are heading back into Yellowstone for a 10-day boondocking adventure. This will be the longest boondocking we have ever done. You guys watched and saw how our nine-day one went in Strawberry Bay. If not, check out this video. However, one huge, huge, giant bonus we have. Electric hookups. 50 amp service. If it gets to be 90 and we're on the generator like we were a week ago, we can't really leave them in the heat of the day because we got to run the generator to get the air conditioner and we don't like to run the generator when we're leaving that seems a little sketchy so um but we're so excited we're gonna go back to the park and i finally get to check out both the famous lamar valley which i'm so excited to see um and explore a little bit more of yellowstone and we'll see if we make it 10 days on our water tanks it's like it's okay here it's a little rinky Dinky. But that's, I mean, that's what the reviews were. It was location to the park is. Yeah. It's like trailer. It's just cool. Oh, this building. Oh, this building. Oh. Is it? Oh, yeah. Sculpta. Gotta get mentally in the game. Gotta get Boondocking mentally in the still, game. Yep, yep, yep. Electric. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. This river is gonna be righteous. We're gonna do some fun things and get lots of work done. It'll work out. Mm -hmm. I got worried, real worried, when I just saw porta potties everywhere. I People like, casually oh, use the word resort. Yes, they do. There's like no guy. There's it's not FDA regulated. No. Who can use the word resort? It's like all natural. <laughs> right. Like oh, people like this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Do you want to get it from here or the dump station one? Ew. You already know the answer. That's why we're going here. Yeah. Just wait, Miley. I gotta go do water. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go with you because I gotta check the other side. Ooh. Stiff. What we're trying to determine is what's going to give us higher quality of life. Just five days in, the dump station is right across from us. It would be super easy. The hitching and the unhitching would be the most annoying part. So five days in, just go dump the black and the gray, start fresh, or use their facilities for the first five days and see how it goes. We, the hopes are not high. The hopes are not high. A little basic here. <laughs> Which is okay. We chose it for budget reasons, so that's okay. So we're super close to the North Yellowstone entrance. So everything we did the first time, we entered the park, the West entrance. So now there's the different places that we wanna go. Um, and is it Lamar Valley? Mm -hmm. And all of that that are a little bit closer to the North entrance. Mammoth, Mammoth yep. yep. We'll see, the cleanliness, not the modernness, but the cleanliness of these bathrooms and shower houses will be the deciding factor. So let's find out. Laundry. Okay, two washers, two dryers. That'll be good should we have to do an emergency load. I just checked the bathrooms out. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna sit here with the dogs in the shade. Let Amanda check them out. What'd you think? Medium. Dump or use them? I don't know, what do you think? Dump. It's gonna be your decision. Dump. I knew it. <laughs> I, I can't shower in there and feel clean and good afterwards. So, first time ever boondocking. We're gonna dump halfway through, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go check out the hot springs and see what the facilities look like there. And you can see this haziness, how so hazy. We, it's similar of in Bozeman, there's just so much smoke from the wildfires, so the visibility is pretty low. But I'm gonna go scope out and see, see what these pools are all about and the facilities. So let's check them out. Thank you. 
As we settled into our campsite, a majestic elk greeted us just outside the RV. We were reminded how close we were to our nation's first national park and decided to retire early, eager to catch the sunrise in Yellowstone. Venturing into the park via the quieter north entrance, we found ourselves immersed in a wildlife haven. Our journey led us swiftly to Lamar Valley, where a sprawling herd of bison welcomed our arrival. Amidst the vast landscape, we were delighted to encounter three playful baby weasels near the trailhead. Captivated by their antics, we paused to observe them. Only to be gently reminded of the valley's wildness as a curious bison nudged us off the trail. Choosing caution over confrontation, we retreated our hearts full with the magic of Yellowstone's untamed beauty. Hey guys, so we have been here at Yellowstone at this RV park for six out of our 10 nights and it's time for a refresh. So we opted in instead of using the public restrooms and showers and kind of roughing it, we op opted to use our bathroom and shower and just dump halfway through. So that's our point today. So what we're gonna do first is hook up the water so we can do a load of laundry Got to do a load of unders and then get some dishes done because we ran out of water, get freshed up shower because we do have room in our gray tank. We're out of fresh and the black needs dumps. And then we're going to hook everything up just like travel day, do a loop, take her to the dump, get everything fresh and clean up in here because it just gets a little messier during boondocking days. <laughs> Okay, we just added close to 40 gallons. Got the sprinkler back running. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but left it how we found it. So let's go get some laundry done, get the house cleaned up, and then hitch up and dump. So what do you think about dumping mid-trip? How's it feel? Annoying. No. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It was well worth it. I will say that. No matter how annoying it is, it has made my life a lot better to just come and do this and spend, even if it takes us two hours is what I'm assuming, like, it was worth it. When we booked this 10-day boondocking trip, we thought our tanks would last that long just based on watching other people and kind of not knowing. Yeah, we had never boondocked. Since booking this and prior to our other ones we now know like five to seven days would be good for us on our black tank yeah seven is our max on our black tank because once you hit that eighth day it smells like an outhouse i don't want to live it's anywhere stinky. that smells like an outhouse you know okay while we're filling up the black tank to rinse it clean i wanted to give you guys an update so we've been having problems with the hitch we would go to hitch everything would look perfect and then it would be like 90 percent green 10 percent red and we'd have to to say we'd have to wiggle it in is not accurate. Sometimes we'd have to raise the RV up a little bit or lower it, like it would really be a pain. And we learned that because when we were in Helper, we hitched that thing four times. And I mean, you couldn't have hitched it more perfectly like when we got to those. Actually, the first attempt was per like really great. Second attempt was solid. Third attempt was solid. Fourth attempt, it will never be more perfect than that. And we still got halvesies. I was like, okay, either something needs lubed, something's going on. And then I was like, oh, maybe we're a little low. We're not. I called Reese today. And basically there's a little trigger in there that has to get flanked by the kingpin, flanked, technical term, it has to get flanked by the kingpin uh, to be able to come. And so I think maybe that little piece way up in there didn't have enough lube on it. We had success today. It was much easier today, wouldn't you say, Mandy? Yeah, it was the best one. So we'll keep you guys updated on that. Uh, maybe we'll even film the next one, but we're gonna show you guys Mandy's pro backing skills when we go to get back in our spot. All good? Yeah.
Pro trailer's working. Perfect, perfect. This will be, this will be an easy one. Go ahead and just take that corner, kind of hug the inside, like of the double station grass, hug that side. But go ahead and just start heading around that corner slowly, and I'll tell you when you can, you're in a good spot. When you turn up there, I need your truck to be hugging the grass. The tires of, on the passenger side to be hugging the grass over there, okay? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Come in. Get up. Get up. Okay, I'm in position. Okay. Take your time. Um, okay. Uh, start off a teeny bit driver. I do not see you, but that's okay, bottom. Yep, that's okay. I need to be, I wanna be here where this pole is. So. Okay. Yep, come on back. A teeny bit driver, you said. Yep, a little driver, a little driver. Hard driver, you doing great? Hard driver. Hard driver. Hard driver. All right, start to crank, crank your dial back the other way. Dial back the other way. Okay, straight, straight. Let it come straight a bit. Let it come straight a bit. Dial drive. Uh, yeah, nope. Keep coming back straight. Keep coming back straight. Keep coming back straight. Come straight back. Little passenger, dial passenger, dial passenger, dial passenger. Dial passenger. Dial passenger. Come straight back. Don't don't do nothing with the dial. Leave the dial B. Come straight back. Dial driver. Dial driver slightly. Dial driver slightly. Dial driver slightly. Come keep coming back. Keep coming back. Straight on back, straight on back, straight on back. Sorry, I can't get where you can see me because of the sprinkler. Straight back, about six feet. Four feet. Two feet. Step there. Come give it a look around for me. Come give it a look around. Tell me which thing is spot. Let me grab the stick to make sure we're good, but I'm pretty sure we got it exactly where we were. Oh, we got Okay, let's do a walk around and chalk them. Yep. Just over two hours, still well worth it. Thanks for joining us on this wild boondocking adventure. If you had fun, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss next week because we're taking on whitewater kayaking on the Yellowstone River and let's just say someone definitely flips. You won't want to miss it. Pooper Dooper Station for the fun booski booski mm -hmm. well, These flies, I'm gonna freak out, man. I know what you mean. I've been out here. They're bad. Oh, wait, I hooked that. Ooh, dust in the face. Dust in the face. Nothing, 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 nothing. Dust in the face. Yeah, we Fair actually enough. weren't recording, but I would get your corners anyway with your sleeve. Well, damn. I know. Sorry. There's a red light. Like it's recording. Oh, we are recording. Yeah.